Okay, let's see now some ideas about our economy. And the first key idea is the definition of uh, work. How can we define work? Maybe as a human activity which people do for money. We earn money by working. And so the population of a country can be active or inactive. Active population is the people who are working and receive money and people also who are looking for money for work. On the, on the other side, inactive population are the people who cannot work and people who work but do not receive money, like the volunteers. So let's see now the different sectors in which jobs are classified. The primary sector includes jobs which obtain resources from nature like agriculture, farming, fishing, mining and forestry. Let's have a look at the agriculture. Okay, and here we have uh, a few crops. Agriculture activity takes place on the plains. Remember the plains are fertile regions which are usually vast, big extensions and flat. Let's have a look at this map about the agricultural activities in Spain. As we can see, there are different crops. Crops also, re I remind you, are cultivated plants harvested by men, like cereals, like fruits, like legumes, etc. So, as you see, as you can see here, up in the north. In the Cantabric area, we have the corn and the apples, and on the Mediterranean coast, we have the vegetables and rice. And in the center of the of the peninsula, we have lots of cereals, legumes, and also grapes, vineyards. And in the Canary Islands, as you can see, we have the bananas and the tr subtropical fruit. Okay, so as we saw in the map, in Spain is also very rich in grains like wheat and barley. This is the plant of the wheat, this is the grain obtained from the plant and this is the flour obtained from the grain. Can you think of any product that we manufacture from flour? From flour? Yes, the bread. What about barley? This is the the plant, very similar to the wheat, the grain. Why can we manufacture from the barley? The beer. The beer comes from barley. Also, Spain has a lot of extension of olive trees. This is a tree, this is a fruit, the olive. And can you think of any product that we manufacture from olives? Yes, it is the olive oil. And also we have a lot of extension in, in in the two Castilias of wine grapes. We have a very popular and famous wines in Spain. So as I just said, the wine is manufactured from the wine grapes. Okay, let's continue. Okay, in Spain we have big areas of different livestock like in the Cantabric area, North Spain uh, they have mainly bovine livestock in Catalonia, Aragon, Navarra, north of Valencian Autonomous Community bovine, pigs and poultry in the Meseta, bovine and ovine mainly and in Andalusia ovine and pigs. Fishing. The fishing activity is very important in Spain since it has such a big surface of coast. Also because it's the fourth country in the world regarding consumption of uh, food products obtained from the sea. This is a mat 
a map about the fishing areas around the world. Each country has um, different areas designated where they could fish, but, and is defined by international agreements and law. Mining. Mining is the extraction of valuable minerals and other materials from the earth and is a decreasing activity in Spain because it's a very expensive business since the coal is not a very efficient source of energy. So that's why mining is being replaced these days by renewable energy sources such as solar power or the wind power. Finally, as a conclusion of the primary sector, we can say that in poor countries the majority of the population works in the primary sector and uses traditional methods. They do not have uh, so much technology. Let's have a look now to the secondary sector, which includes jobs which transform natural resources into manufactured products. We can distinguish three types of industry. First, the basic industries. Second, the equipment and machinery industries. And then last, the consumer industries. The basic industries take these raw materials, such the tree trunks, and transform them into manufactured products, such uh, trunk, uh, planks to build houses, bridges, and so on. Then we have the second type of industry, the equipment and machinery industries. In this process, the manufactured products, these ones, are used to build machinery and equipment to produce the final product, like the milling machine or those robots used to build electronic components. Those machines, in general, are used in dangerous, heavy and very precise jobs which the man can't do by himself. Then we have the third industry, the consumer industries. These create the final products for direct sale to the population, like the car, furniture and food industries. The most important industries in the secondary sector are food, metal, chemicals, automobiles, telecommunications and textiles. And when we think about technology, we usually think about the computer or the machinery. But technology is more, includes knowledge, instruments and techniques, strategies to use and improve the products. With technology, companies are more productive and so the products are more attractive for importation and exportation, for example. Industry is concentrated in large metropolitan areas such as Barcelona, Madrid and Valencia in Spain. And now let's talk about the tertiary sector, which includes activities which provide services like tourism, shops, transport and health services. They could be private services or public. Private like every time you pay uh, to travel by plane and visit another country doing some tourism or and the public services like the health service in Spain you don't pay every time you go to see the doctor because the government has a health service a public health service and pays the doctor for you also there are some public transports like in Spain the, met the underground in Spain the tertiary sector is very important it represents half of the growth of domestic product. And here we can see that the 60% of the active population in Spain works in the tertiary sector. Okay, let's now see the three main activities of this sector, the three T's. Trade is the first T. It's one of the most important uh, sector activities and there are two types of trade, the domestic and the foreign. Domestic takes place within a country, between cities like, for example, between Barcelona and Madrid. 
and foreign trade is a commerce with other countries it includes the imports and exports. The exports are the products which are sold to other countries, from Spain to other countries such as France, Germany, UK, etc. And imports, on the contrary, are the products bought from other countries, introduced in Spain by buying them outside Spain. The second T is the transport. It's extremely important for tourism and trade. And here we can see four different maps about the different networks. The road network, the rail network, the, airpo the airports, and the undergrounds of the different cities. Madrid, Barcelona and Bilbao, for example, have undergrounds. And the final T, tourism, is the activity one of the most important activities since uh, Spain has thousands of kilometers of beaches, great museums and excellent food. Those assets attract millions of tourists every year. Can you think of any places for the tourists to visit Madrid, for example? These four images, museums, monuments, food, etc. And last, we'll see your task for these final unit. In pairs you're going to resolve a mini quest, create a PowerPoint project and finally make the presentation of this PowerPoint in class using the interactive whiteboard. The information you need to find out and produce will be a map of Spain regarding the economy sectors, a chart of a map of the autonomous communities regarding tourism, a street map of uh, this city that will be pointed to each group, a chart about the population of your class, creating a chart about the active population of your parents. And we'll do this at the ICT class following this site. And this site is a mini quest, online mini quest, which you can find the home explaining the whole mini quest an introduction with some basic information we have seen in class about the different sectors, population, types of charts and graphs, then the task itself with all the steps you have to follow and some information, resources in which you can find all the links you need to build your maps and graphs and finally the evaluation process in which you find all the information on how you will be evaluated and also you will need to fill up this document online.